So for this problem, if you guys look at it, it says 11 pi over 30. So what we need to do is we need to convert our radians to degrees, all right? Um, and the way that I'm going to do this is remember, I'm going to do the exact same thinking. I know that I have a circle, right? And all the way around, one radian, two radians, three radians. So halfway around the circle is what we call pi, which again is equal to 180 degrees, right? So if I want to convert from radians to degrees, I need to use the ratio that one pi, pi radian, is equivalent to 180 degrees. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do though is I'm going to write it like this. 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians. And the reason why I want to write it like that is because now I have a pi divided by pi, so I'm going to cancel off the pi's, right? 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians. So if you write it like this, you multiply them, then what happens is I can cancel out my pi's, so I have negative 11 times 180 degrees <coughs> divided by 30. All right, and what I would simply do is I look at this, I'd say, well, 180 divided by 30 is six. So I'd have, um, negative 11 times 6 degrees, and therefore you multiply them and you get negative 66 degrees. Okay, that's it. Just make sure you guys understand there's two different ratios. There's either 180 degrees over pi, and there's pi over 180 degrees. These are equivalent ratios, right? The rate, they're just comparing. They're not equivalent fractions, right? But they're equivalent ratios. This is to this, and this is to that, right? They're comparing each other. In terms of your distance on a unit circle, they're exactly the same. They're, their ratio is the same length. This is to this. This is to that, right? It's actually not the plus, like, you can't, 180 divided by pi is not equal to pi divided by 180. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying you can compare these. These two distances are equal to each other. 180 degrees is equal to pi. So therefore, whenever I'm solving for this, whatever I want to get rid of, that's what's going to be on the denominator. So if I want to go from radians to degrees, I'm going to make sure that my degrees is on top so my two radians will cancel out. Does that make sense? Kind of. <clears throat>